Okay, now that you've finished all of the intermediate courses or tutorials on this course, we are going to look at the advanced settings of OBS Studio. And this is what's going to make your stream stand out from the millions of other streams on the internet. Today, we're going to take a look at plugins. Now, you might have heard of this phrase or, or these words from other streamers or maybe online you've seen some videos about plugins. What are plugins? Well, OBS Studio is an open source software. And what that means is that anybody could code a particular code and install that code into OBS Studio to do something that it doesn't already do. A plugin is this code, this encoded feature that you are going to install into OBS Studio to give you a new feature that you can play around with and show your viewers. Why does this make OBS Studio so impressive? It's because other competitors like Streamlabs OBS are not open source software. And that means that we can't install our own plugins. Every single feature that we want on Streamlabs OBS, we have to rely on Streamlabs to install it. Whereas with OBS Studio, we have external creators, external developers creating these incredible features that we can install ourselves and not have to wait for updates and uh, and uh, other installations. So that's really, really great. And it sets OBS Studio apart. And it's the main reason why people use it over other streaming software. Now, how do we add pl plugins to OBS Studio? First of all, we need to download them from a safe directory, a safe space on the internet. So I'm gonna go to my web browser, which happens to be Google Chrome. You guys might use Edge or you might use, let's get rid of this. Uh, you might use Edge or you might use Firefox or something like that. You're gonna to go to Google or your normal search engine and search OBS Studio plugins. The top result will be OBS Studio plugins, OBS forums by obsproject.com. There are other places on the internet where you can download plugins from, but this particular forum is safe and community tested. So I'd always recommend getting your plugins from this forum. We're gonna click on the link and it's gonna take us to this page here. And it's not particularly complicated. It's not a complex page, it's just like a standard forum. The title up here will be OBS Studio Plugins. We're in the resources section, which also includes some themes, tools, guides, classic plugins, etc., etc. But if we scroll down in the OBS Studio Plugins section, you'll see we have a large list of plugins here to choose from. Uh, it could be anything from a face tracker to scaling sources to sounds to waveforms making. Uh, visualizers for your audio. Uh, what else do we have here? We have some custom delay plugins. We've got tons of really cool plugins. Move transitions so that things move all around your screen when the transitions happen. We're going to pick one to install and then I'm going to explain in later tutorials my favorites and why you should install them. We're going to choose this one here today, Waveform. Now, I've actually not used this particular uh, I've not used this particular plugin before because it was just released 12 days ago. So hopefully it's going to work. If it doesn't work, at least I can show you how to install it in the first place. So I'm interested in this plugin. I want to install it on my OBS Studio. Down here, there'll be a little video showing you what it does and how to install it. And uh, I'm going to go to instead go to download and we're going to download this file. And sometimes it will uh, redirect you to an external site. In this case, we're going to uh, GitHub, which is a reputable site. Um, in some cases, it will just download it for you straight in that window. So it, it depends what you want to do. Now, there are two ways of installing these particular plugins. The first one is an EXE file installer. If I download this file, it will install the plugin automatically to OBS Studio and I won't have to do anything else. So usually I would download the EXE, click install, restart OBS and it's done. But a lot of plugins, you have to download the raw zip file and do it yourself. So we're going to do it this way instead. I'm going to click on the zip file. It's going to download. I'm going to show the zip file in 
my folder. There's a lovely picture of my friends at the F1 and a funny picture of Max Verstappen there. Apologies for that. Uh, we're going to go show more options. 7-Zip. If you don't have an extractor software like 7-Zip, you can use WinZip. 7-Zip is free as well, but we do need to decompress this file. I'm going to extract the files and press OK. And it's just going to extract them right here. This is our download folder. And inside the download folder, we've got two extra folders. We've got data and OBS plugins. You see that? We've got two files here in our plugin download. What we need to do is we need to copy this data and this plugin into our OBS Studio program file. So what I'm going to do is actually open a new file explorer. I'm going to put them side by side. And this one on the right, I'm going to redirect to local disk C because this is where my OBS studio is installed. So we're going to go to local disk C, program files, OBS studio, and we're going to wait right there because you'll see we have folders in our download folder called data and OBS plugins. We also have those folders in our OBS studio directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to click double click data on your download. Double click data on your OBS Studio uh, directory over here. Then double click OBS plugins on your download. Double click OBS plugins on your OBS Studio directory. Now, waveform. I don't see a waveform folder in this right hand side. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy waveform here. And I'm going to paste it into my right side window. And you'll see now we've got waveform there. Then I'm going to go back to our download folder and our OBS Studio folder. And I'm going to go do the same with OBS plugins. So I'm going to double click on OBS plugins. Double click on OBS plugins. Double click on, are we going to do 32 or 64? I think we'll probably do, we'll probably do, what, what have I done most of mine in here? 64 bit, it doesn't really matter, but I would use 64 bit if you're using a more modern system. So I'm going to go 64 and 64. I found these DLL and PDB files. I'm going to copy those and paste them into my OBS Studio plugins folder. And that should be that. I'm going to close those folders. I'm going to open OBS Studio, but I, it won't be installed yet because I need to restart the software. So let's press exit in the bottom right hand corner here, or you can of course just use the X button up top. Let's reopen OBS Studio. And fingers crossed, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a new plugin, but let's see where it has put it. It will sometimes put it in tools, sometimes it will give it a new tab like stream effects here, but some most of the time it will be a filter. So let's go and add an audio input capture, such as uh, oh actually let's do let's do this. I'm gonna go turn on some audio, some copyright free audio. There we go. And we're gonna see if we can add a waveform to this particular audio. You can see it's being picked up in the bottom here. I'm going to right click on the audio output capture. Click filters. And in here, no waveform. So where has that gone? We've got it somewhere. Add a source. Ah, it's a new source. So sometimes it will install your plugin as a new source as well. Here's waveform. Press OK. Audio source, audio output capture. And you can see that we've got a waveform. Awesome. So that plugin has installed correctly. I can obviously play around with these settings as much as I want to get the form and the wave that I want. Uh, if I just get rid of logger, I can make it less curvy. Anyway, we're not talking about this plugin. That is how you install plugins, guys. So let me go ahead and pause that music real quick. Just a reminder, if you go to your download and there's an exe file, I would go with that particular file because it will automatically install the plugin for you and you won't need to move any of those uh, individual DLL and PDB files around. But if you do have to do that, if it only gives you the zip file option, extract the folder, find those two concurrent folders in your OBS directory and your download, and then copy the files from each folder to the other. Follow this tutorial exactly and you'll be able to install as many plugins as you want in the future.